Test, test, test. One, two, three, one, two, three, test, test, test. Test, 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 test. Oh, come on in. Come on in, everybody. Brand new game. Come on in. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Johnny, Grant, Shane, Jonathan. Project uh, Diaz. New game, everybody. New game. New game. New game. Now just, I don't, got to get my cushion there. No, 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 wait a minute, I'll move that, hold on. Got to move my seat, put the cushion there, put the phone there. Uh, no face cam. Can be fucked. Whatever, whatever pick my nose. Right, troops. Um, first of all, can you hear me alright? Can you hear me alright? One, two, three, four, five. Loud and clear. Right, you can hear us. Um, right. I'll switch off the chat so that I doesn't get spoiled for me. There we go. Let's check it out. Now, I said this is my very first time playing it. It is not Because I played it earlier. For a minute, just to show my son it. Just for about a minute. So, I'm almost telling the truth. I'll do this. It says loading. That means the game's loading up. Okay, guys, so... Uh, so, hey, everybody, my name's Lemmy, and welcome to a Let's Play video where I'm going to be playing this game of Firewatch. It's been out for a few years now. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. That's a year after I was born. You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. I think that's something you Colorado University Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Right, so already we've got a problem here. You're drunk. So what's your you, so what's your, you know, major? Um, the other option is, you, you're birdie. So I'm Henry, I'm, let's say I'm my age, 43, so I've walked up to this lassie. Uh, I think you, you're pretty, let's go for that, because that's, that's a really nice compliment. You're pretty, she says coolly. Let me see if I can say that. You're pretty. You're not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later you're Jilla's boyfriend. See, it does work. It does work. There you go. There you go, what's this? R2 to use objects, right? Backpack, let's just go for it. Let's not fun about with this game. Right. 
No, I want to use that. Right. Uh, can you still hear me alright? Can you still hear me alright? Can you hear me alright in relation to this, um, um, uh, in relation to the music? Yep, good. Right. Yes. I'm on a motor already. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. <laughs> All right. All right. She's crazy. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. What I want to do, everybody, I've heard this is a good game, as in, as in, as a good story and everything. But I know that because I don't like anything, I may as well just have a laugh, right? And the, see other human beings, other people, they really get into things, they really love things, things really mean everything to them, and it's so moving and beautiful. I'm not like that. There's some things that I, th I think, like that, uh, somebody else says, oh my god, he's going to fucking hate this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm having a laugh. But let me try and experience it like somebody by the way I just want to dedicate this game to uh, the user Quiet who who uh, who gave me a hundred quid last night on the fucking stream can you believe that so I thought right I better buy I better put that money to some good use so I bought this game everybody to entertain you I'm putting the money back in and I'd like to thank everybody else who also gave us money Um. so everybody just Thanks for everybody who's ever gave us any money. We've got ourselves a new game here, Troops. I, I did get it in the sale, but I might have got it anyway. Right. Um. So I want to play this through the eyes of somebody who likes this sort of thing. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. That sounds great. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Ah, oh, this guy's living the dream, all right? All right. Jilla wants to get a dog. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Next thing she's gonna want, uh, a kid. Don't want a dog shitting all about. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's a class? Class? Wait a minute. Um Class right uh, she's in she's she's in uni. She's in a did it say twenties? Late twenties or mid twenties, early twenties. Class? I'm like, is this a fucking forty year old? Twist at the end, the guys are pedo. Um Bring up to go. So who's Henry? I can't remember. Is he? Is he? I shouldn't. I know. I can't remember. There's also an intimidating budget. Wait a minute. If they do, they move in together. What's she doing? And fucking you and they're staying together. Who's got that kind of money? Anyway, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to you, little wild walk, and this dog is badass. <laughs> you pick up the beagle. Oh, here's the options. You pick up the beagle, and she names it Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. <laughs> um, right. Do I want a girl what she wants, or do I want to protect her? Get a fucking Alsatian, man. Hope it tears a fucking throat out. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school. Skill? Americans call college, you know that? I fucking. Uh, they call that school, didn't they? Even though he's too big to bring to school. 
Jewel loves him all the same. This guy's living with a fucking 12 year old. Mayhem is a friend, child and pet all rolled into one. Oh, wish I had a dog like that. I love narrative, 1979. You talk, so this is um, five, uh, four years, 1975 is when you met this person, this Julia, in a pub. This is four years later. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. Was that, was that high desert? What do you think about kids? She asked. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Kids, uh, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a, a couple little idiots, a couple little idiots, so we've got a kind of casual, casual way of speaking there, that's not a typo. A couple little idiots, that's the way they speak here, they remember. So should I say, that would be pretty good, or one day, why rush? Uh, one day, why rush? She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry. You assure her. I love this game. This game makes me think about the tough decisions in my life I'm not ready to make. You tell her that she has a body of an undergrad. What? Um, wait a minute, wait a fucking minute, you tell her she has the body of an undergrad, my ovaries didn't get the memo, she says laughing it off, one day okay, uh, what? You've got the body of an undergrad? What is going on here? What sort, what, what sort of fucking... What sort of game is this? Right, I know undergrad doesn't mean underage Wayne. Undergrad means... Haven't graduated yet. And you would graduate when, like imagine you left school, say... No 16, but I think maybe a wee bit later. Let's see you left a bit. I don't know, 18, maybe it takes you four years. Either way, he's saying that, let's say she's in her mid 20s or early 20s, he's saying you've, he's basically saying you've got the body of a teenager. That's basically what's happening here. He's saying, listen, you've got a fucking body of a fucking, you've got a body of a teen. And she's like, I don't know, just, she's not going like that. What are you talking about? Okay, one day, she says. What was the point of that? Is he saying... Is he saying... You've got the body of an undergrad. And she's saying, my ovaries didn't get the memo. So he's saying, your body... Doesn't look like you could honno carrying a wane. Is that what he's saying? Is he saying... Your body is a sort of body. It is so youthful. It looks like you're not ready to have a win. Is that what he's saying? Because she's saying, well, my ovaries didn't get the memo. Meaning, well, I am actually physically capable of having wins. Is that what he's saying? This is a... Uh, right, anyway... Six months later, you get engaged, li lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Engaged to this fucking... You ask her to put on her schoolgirl costume. You ask her, hey, you still got your... your school uniform from school? That's the way this is fucking heading. Right. Jesus, right, I see. Thoroughfare Trailhead. 
Do I have to read all this shit? Learn to live with bears. Uh, right, right, right. No fireworks and all that, right? Let's just fucking fire through it. Right in there. Let's go over this trips. How's the music? Oh, something's happened. Um, somebody says no, an undergrad is a university student. He's saying she has a young, fit, healthy body. No, 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 no. But he's saying that to a, a lassie who's who's already just in her 20s anyway. He's not saying to say a, 30, a 35-year-old woman, you've got the body a 25-year-old woman. He's saying to a, 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 a lassie who's already just in her like, 20s, you're actually like hen. He, that, this is what he's saying. Look, hen, uh, how do you know that though? That she's 20. It says at the beginning, 20s. It says right at the beginning, Julia in her 20s. Looks in her 20s. Um, hey. He's saying to her, Listen, hen, you've still got a body of a fucking teenager, man. You don't want to go and ruin it with having a wane. That's what he's saying. Right. 1980s, this is uh, five years after the met. It's a Thursday night. The jeweler is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's been shagging a bit. So you're, you're, you're angry? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. Whoa! You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you ignore her. Hmm. Let's go for it. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. The guys call women assholes? I don't think I've ever in my fucking life called a lassie or a woman an asshole. An asshole? She tells you to fuck your, to she tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Yes. Nineteen eighty one. Six years after you met, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Wow. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Um, I want to do something that causes me problems. Did I do frolic? Fuck it. Jilla was right. You're very pretty. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright! Just one thing, after a colon, you don't do a capital letter. Okay, this game's got problems. Staring at cunt's legs. This music's gonna be bit. Right, keep it going. Keep the music on. Two Fox, look out, tower, eight more miles still. Yes, man, walking simulator. 1982, seven years after he's met. During the summers, you and Jilla enjoy walking, mayhem at night. Mayhem's the dog, remember? There's a festival in town, it brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Fucking yes, here they go, man. Come on now. Get set of dog on him, man. Mayhem runs away. Fucking get back here. 
Maybe move. What? What? Oh, right. May me move. Fuck the dog. Right, she's got a kind of stuttery thing. Dog. Let me see if I can really put my acting skills. May me move. Fuck the dog. <laughs> dog. Julia yells. She gets fl uh, flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face and fucking yes, man. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. Yes. You don't feel very tough. Oh, for fuck's sake. You cry your eyes out before the cop shop. Oh, fuck off. Jill asks to take. You can't let her see you like that, mate. You can't let her see you like that, mate. Because all that stuff on Twitter about toxic masculinity and all that, that goes out the window. You can forget about all that fucking shit. That's a guy about fucking pulling a knife. Now you can't fucking greet in front of her. Because she'll talk the talk on Twitter about toxic masculinity, but if she sees you greeting in front of her, the fact is you've got about a fucking year left. Right? Don't show you greeting. You'd nearly kill the guy. You should be puffing your fucking chest at me. Julia asked to take a different path from that day forward. But you say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on you then on you walk by the river. Wait a minute. Oh right, right, right. It, from then on you walk by the river, right. So, is it meaning literally here? Actually, a different way. Was it like where the thingy, or talking about the relationship? Don't know. Right. Nineteen eighty-four. Nine years after we met. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Waylaid. Good. Jilla gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. No, don't take it. You're not taking it. You're not taking it. I fucking... I got stabbed. I got stabbed by that fucking guy trying to protect you. And this is how you repay me. By moving away. Be an absolute fucking asshole here. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. Yes, man, emotional blackmail. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking a job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, bullshit. But she decides not to take it. Yes! Yes! Eh, uh, by the way, Forry. I see that Forry's in Forry, mate. You're in trouble, by the way. You see, the thing is, last night, Quiet, the user Quiet, gave me a hundred fucking quid, mate. One hundred fucking pounds. And I said to him, I said to him for it, I said, is there anything you want me to do? No, my God. I said, what is it? What is it? What is it? Is there anything you want? I mean, what is it you want? He says, just as long as you ban Forry. Mate, I, I, I can't do it. I said, I said to you quite that I do it, but I can't do it. I can't do it, mate. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't have one person paying money to have another one fucking assassinated. We can't have that in here. We're a team. We're a team. Um, anyway, one more. I'm leaving anyway, see ya, right, good, fuck off. Right. You say yes, again, bullshit. Oh, wait a minute. Your life. Yes, man. Right, anyway, let's get back to the game. But she decides not to take it, right? Right, so you've turned into an absolute fucking... Bastard. 
1985, 10 years after he's met. Gillette is asked to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Oh. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She's got something up there. Right, she got something, something's up. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine if try to forget. Yes! Yes! Listen, just to let you know, by the way. In real life, I'm actually an alright person. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Don't want to, tell, don't want to make myself out to be perfect or anything like that, right? But I'm generally an alright person. Relatively speaking. Um, that's why I enjoy being an absolute cunt in games. So if I look like I'm reveling in bad things happening to people in this game, I'm not like that in real life. I just want to, I just want to remind you folks, because some people take the way I'm, uh, literally. It's kind of like horror to me. I like seeing somebody getting chased about with a knife in a horror film. In real life, no. But, and on Twitter, I. But, here, um, I really like bad things happening. It works. So that's me just, she's having some sort of episode, maybe a breakdown or a brain tumour. Something that's affecting her mood and affecting her memory. And she wants to talk, like, I was going to talk to her about it, but I've just actually just had a drink to forget about it. That's what I want to do. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch, Dallas, which was big in the 80s, folks. Journal. That's what they call a diary in America. Because that's what they call a diary. Yes. Is that me? Wait a fucking minute. So that, was that me then? That was her drawing me. So when did she fucking draw that? When did she draw that? I was still thinking I was kind of young. Well, that was like us in our 20s, so that's, that'd be it. No, that was like, I don't know, anyway. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair to get him put down then. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Jilla walk come to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Jilla goes back to the university. Get a dog put down, man. 87. 12 years later. Jilla's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Right, we'll leave then. Her research is in shambles. Fuck. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. Uh, what, she's not allowed to go for a wander? And has to be brought home by the police. Taxi him. She's devastated. But it only lasts for long, she'll be devastated and then she won't remember it. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, just been starting to get a wee bit of fucking peace and quiet about this. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. I don't think that's right. I don't think that would be right then. She, in effect, doesn't know who I am. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door, right? You tell her family, we are crushed and begin to make trips to it and for so sorry you're fucking crushed because of what's happening to her and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia yes man it's fucking skinning them man this is skinning them for a while your friends come by <laughs> it's like a comedy this man for a while 
your friends come by with little things to brighten the day, she gets, well, fuck off, man. Take your wee fucking daft wee things to brighten the day and shove up your fucking arse, man. Don't want them. Fuck off a lot, yous. Leave money. Right, leave me something. Leave me money. Leave me fucking money, man. Eighty-eight, this is thirteen years after he's met. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests is it, are they gonna start shagging her? He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Get out of my fucking do you ever suggest that? Somewhere with twenty four hour care a home, definitely man. It sits with you for a couple of couple of fucking seconds. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of Fuck off, man. Gotta take fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this, man. Fucking love this. Can I just get her killed? Can I just get her fucking killed, man? Again, everybody, I just want to tell you. Um, again, in real life, this sort of stuff isn't amusing. This sort of stuff's a, a nightmare, horror. Worst thing out. But, like, if I've got a gun, can I shoot that? The fuck was up with that? Her family agrees with your decision. Good, good, good. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Good, good, good. That's it. Date every day for a week. Kind of like when I came off uh, citalopram, antidepressants. It might take months to come off them. I just went like that. Fuck it. Went down to half my dose for three days. Half that again, as in a quarter, for another three days, then half cold turkey. That sort of thing could fucking kill you. That sort of thing can make you spiral and then you go and top yourself. But see me, no pun intended, but I'm a bit of a madman. I've had come downs, I've had hangovers, I've had bad trips. That's nothing to me, trips. So see this? This guy's got the right idea. See her every week, every day for a week. Then every other day for like seven days of that and then and then just slow up once a month once a year, once a year. this has gone well I think, I'm, I think I'm doing well at the game here you go out to the bar yes good old days man you go out to the bar I hope you go up to a new one and go like hey you're pretty you go out to the bar with your old friends it's not the same oh for fuck's sake you get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your f old friends that much. Aye, well, they're not there. They, they, they have not walked in your fucking shoes. They have not walked in your shoes. They don't know what it's like. 89. 14 years later. After we met, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be closer. Yes, man. What's this Susan like? What's this Susan like, man? She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Yes, man. Months go by, mayhem dies, goodbye. That's it, you finally shed everything for your old life. That's it, the dog that connects you to her is now dead. You could just break free now and get fired into this, uh, this Susan. Hopefully it's, this fucking thing doesn't run in the family. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. 
And the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Or you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I take it that's, that's this job. You take it. Hurry up. When do we get to see this Susan then? Mayhem's a dog. James, Mr. Beginning, who's Mayhem? Mayhem's a dog that you and your girlfriend got. Your girlfriend got ill, some sort of brain problem. And she's in a home, she doesn't even remember you. So it's some sort of kind of dementia type of thing. You put her in a home. You feel like we're all pals. Oh fuck. Oh wait. L1. Zoom. Can I go faster by L2? No. What about X? What about square? What about circle? What about triangle? What about R1? No. Wait. Right, third of L, look out. Alright, oh, right, what? Right, here I am. Right. Now, if I actually... Wait a minute. If I missed a door or something, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Put on the power. There we go. A wee wanking room. A wee wanking room. Can you see that alright? Is that nice? Is that loud enough? Is that loud enough? Hold that uh, L2 activate radio. L2 to select dialogue. Um. Right, right, so hold L2. R1 and R... Right, R2. Right, these are the replies. Alright, so there's only one, right. Delilah. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's it. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, right, so... Um, right, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Alright, so get a wee... You're oh. just going to wait me out on this? Oh, I took too long. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? I thought so. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Right, so he's a prick. Who's this talking? I think that's somebody at the other tower, maybe. Fucking grumpy fucking. Right, so I need to make decisions quickly. Well, quicker than that. 
Aye, why? I'll sing that, James. Why, why? Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. I can see it. That she can see me. Uh, right. Right. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. I guess it's what six. We're good. Six forty-five. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, right. Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West-facing. Now do I know, or compass. Fucking fireworks? Right, get, get, get me out of here, get me out of here. What? Right, how do I fucking get it? I need uh, you to West. Uh, was that West? Seriously, are you seeing this? Uh, is this West? What? Is that this West? Henry. Fucking shut up. Fireworks fucking where? West face. Look, that the compass fucking says. That's, that's west. That's west. Oh, aye, right, right, right. Right, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and right. stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Right. Right, I. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, Kill them. Fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Kill them. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Right. What? Um. Right. It's too late. Right. Uh, so I'm heading west. Find right where the fuck am I? Right, all oh, right. Oh, it tells me exactly where I'm. Right, good. Why is it pointing that way? I mean, I'm taking it the top's fucking north. So, why is it pointing that way? Cash three or. Aye, so it's west now. Go up. Look at the fucking map. And you're going west. Up to that thing. Cash three. Right in the middle there. Right. So. What? What's going on here? Left? What? That? 
the fucking west. I'm just going to head down here just for, for a wee second. Aye, aye, this is the right way. Did I get to fucking run? Kill them. Right, X to climb over obstructions, right? I'm doing that, we've got to put everything away, aye? Right. I'm at that thing yet. Just about to. Should be a wee turn to the left. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ring bit. Is it there? What's this? Right. Wait a minute, probably went off the path. Is this it here? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Uh, right. Is there a fucking... What's the fucking number? 306? I'm at 306. I'm at 306. I'm not going to look at the chat just for a wee second. Um, right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. The whole lot of them. Alright. There we go. Right. Two, three, four. Good stuff. Right, use the rope. Tie these, tie these wains up. Fucking tie them up. Fucking drown them. Use that now. Uh, eat, aye. Eat it alright now. Eat a lot of it. Pine cone. What would I want with that? Right. None of it. What's this? What's this then? Ron. Hey man. Guy couldn't take it so I locked up his look out and there's some stuff in the box. If I one of those bars you like. Hiking in the park, but let's get the fuck man back. Oof, Dave. Couldn't take it so locked up. Guy couldn't take it so locked up, he's looking to put some stuff in the box. Right. Was that the guy before me? Is that the guy before me? Right, lock that. Right. Um, what's the fucking padlock? Where's the lock? Where's the lock? Um, padlock? Where's the padlock? Where's the fucking padlock? Right, fuck the fucking padlock then. Fuck it. Owen says, who cares about the lock? Fucking a lot of them. That's ex that is exactly it, Owen. Well done, mate. That's exactly how I'm going to treat this game. Right. Right, so let's follow these. Find out these cunts. Oh. Where are they? Um, 
Is that a common fair? Is that a common fair? I'll get a review of that. Hold on. What the fuck is it coming for? I don't know that way. What's it sound like? Right, get that out. Oh, jogging! That's it. That's it. Right, we're going fast on the trips. Oh, is that it there? That's it there. Look. Let's get these cunts. What have I got to, what have, what, got to go in the paths? Right, square. Right, hold on a minute. Have I got to follow the path? Just double check this. Right. Can I go here? Aye. Boat pick. Oh, I see, I see. That's what I need to roll for. Right. I see. A lot of fireworks. There we go. Just get on with it. I haven't used the controller for this. No, no, no. Yes, man. Yes. Die. Hope that's the end. Is that, is that the end of the game, man? That was good. I enjoyed that. Right, so back to Overwatch it. Oh, wait. All right. Talk to me a lot. Every time I speak to you, I just want to, just want to stop all that fucking nonsense. Can I just speak to you about my girlfriend that I had to put in a home? Or married or whatever it was. Oh, wait. Um, nice camp spot. Nice cliffs. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Right. Oh. Yes, man. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Give me them. Give me the clays. Give me the clays. Give me them. Yes. Give me that. Uh, what is it? I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Give me that. If I, if I go, so, no, 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 give me that. No. I want to take that back up to the, what do you call it? The wanking den. Just take that, just take this back to the wanking den and, and just leave them.
Get these scumbags. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Yes, it is. Boy, enjoy dealing with that. Drunken teens. Right. Right. What's that? What's that tunes? What's this? Nice tunes. Oh, that's right. This is a uh, ladies' boombox. It's called a ghetto blaster back then. I got a gun. Right, I'm going out there. I'm going out there. Have I got a knife? Hey, that go okay? Uh, what's this? Well, look, if you can hear me, try to get back soon, okay? It's yeah. getting late. Bastard, I didn't mean that. Right, so the dot 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 means say nothing. Right. Uh, Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or <sighs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Just gonna wait at it. Just gonna wait at it. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Right, that's um, that's twice now. He's called women assholes. That's twice now. This is the way I came, but fuck it. Um, in fact, let me just check in case I waste a lot of time. Right, that's the lake. You want to get on the other fucking side. In fact, the next time we can get to that bit is... You might, not even, you might not even be able to get get her in there. Just go back, just honestly, it'll save you. Might save you time in the long run. That's it. All the way. Here we go, trips. Might be a good time for you to go and get a cup of tea or whatever. Here we go. Right. Right. Grab them. Yep, there we go. What's this? None. Oh, fire. Right. a bunch of empty beer cans they threw them all over hell are you fucking serious yeah yeah sure am i would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches feet away right so i can so she's telling me it's all right too oh shit ferret or irish give me that give me that if 
fucking wrecked. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Right, so these two these two are quite well matched. Report medal. Hey, okay. I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. What? North. Where did I go? Where did I go? Uh, look at the map, stupid. Ah, you're going the right. Going the right way. I think. No, 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 no. And then head north, right, right. I think this is the right way. Is it? Is this? Right way? Or is this the wrong way? That's it. Right, go. Yeah, we're counting this a bit, that. Right. Look at this troops. Head to the canyon, says somebody. The canyon. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Can I shake? Oh, up there. What? No. The the place that I came back for. Head west towards the lake and then go fucking north again. Are you fucking joking? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Can feel Overwatch tugging away at me. Report medal, don't like report the fucking medal, fuck off. Right, I'm jogging, can I actually sprint? Right. Then they're here. Fuck me. Fuck me. And I stay this side. Right, the map's quite small, says Johnny. Right. Keep going. That's it, keep so going. I have a bit of a confession to make. No interested. What is it? Um look I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. 
Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Shut up. Yeah, uh, whatever. Get a hot, that's um, it. You know, I'll try to make it up to you. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, right. Right. Nearby storm, right? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. It is near home. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. You'll want to talk. You were drunk last night. Just silence. Just gonna let her have that one. Yep, silence. Silence. No interested. No interested in that talk. Give it that. Open. Open that up. Open that again. Right. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, Shut up. stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Right. Is Tom Bedell those now that? Is that what she's? That's really right. I'll put it in there from there. Right, give me that. Right. Cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Don't care. So, so I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Yeah. Right. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. That was hell. Be very careful. Uh, this cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, right. but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Fucking hurry up. Hank. Um. No. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. This guy's a prick. Yeah, it is, yep. I suppose I made him like that. I suppose I made him like that. Oh! 
There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, do I don't think so. Okay, fuck there's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... Outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... It's... It's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. I'll kill this guy. I'll kill this guy. Kill him, man. How do I kill people? What am I doing up here, man? Just going for a wee adventure, troops. Right, I'm going for an adventure. Am I supposed to be going this way? Let's check. Let's check, see how far. Oh no, wait a minute. And, oh this is the right way. By looks at it. Anybody there? Hello? 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 Mate? Mate, you can't hang about here, mate. I walk here. I walk here, mate. Yes. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, yes. Anytime. Ah! Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Good stuff. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Right. What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with Frizzy Log. To the par. I could never. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much, Mike. Some parter on it. That's fucking too man. Geezer. Get in there. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Dear like shape. What we are talking to. Sure, I'll do that. Right, shut the door. Go. Right, there's shite. There's shite. Well, you fucking go then. Open the door, and that guy's standing there like with a knife. Get in. Um. There we go. There we go, trips. Yes, man! Take what else being chucked at. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Yes, man. Yes! Someone broke in. They 
What? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Uh huh. Motherfucker. Oh, uh -huh. shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? Yeah. This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Hey. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but okay, I don't like, know why the fuck he'd want to like, mess with my stuff. Okay, canyon. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, so. and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Fucking you, liar. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can yes. refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Shut up. Okay. Anyway, oh, I oh hope fuck. You can sleep. I'll talk to you in the morning. I see you later. Oh, fuck off. Right. Day two, what time is it? 20 past 11. Um, might end it there. Might end it there for the night and quickly jump on Overwatch. I've only streamed Overwatch, I know you don't like it, but. Wake up! For a whiskey? He's on hey, What? I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. Hey. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Mm hmm. And what? I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if Shut we need up. it. You're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. No, Hank. Sure. Right. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yes. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. Aye. Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But Good. thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. That's fucking... I guess, uh, I guess a whiskey. Give me that. Can I, can I, can I have it? Um... There, that's what I want to see. Right, let's see. So that's what I look like. This fucking loser. And there's her. Um, know who you hear, but the, the girlfriend. Right. Um. Right, we'll end it there for the night, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll be back maybe tomorrow. Right? Um, we'll end it there the night. Thought, thought it would you like, you know what I'm going to do with that here? I'm going to do with that. I'm going to do with that. This is what I'm going to do with Get to fuck. Good fucking bye. Good riddance. And we'll end it there.
and I'll be back on for the rest of day two, the morrow or the day after or something. Right. See you later. Bye for now.